Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and consider subscribing. Today we're going to be doing eyebrows and I'm actually going to be waxing my eyebrows at home with this quarantine thing going on. I'm still not comfortable going out to the shop to have my eyebrows down. And I'm going to be using this product. It's called Gigi Hemp Wax. I'm going to insert a little video here to show you what's in the kit. I read reviews, I looked up on YouTube, and I found that this is one of the best waxes out there. These are all the products that come in the kit. This is the wax itself, and I opened it so I could show you guys how it looks like. And it smells pretty clean then it has this the cloth the strips uh this is smaller obviously bigger for a bigger surface area of your body that you want to work but honestly i think i'm gonna split that into half and uh, use that for my eyebrows and also this kind of like split them into half and then that way i'm gonna have enough strips for my eyebrows this is for before you wax this is for after you wax for the reducing redness and irritation this is to remove any wax residue this is for applying just to slow any further hair growth. I'm gonna use Prehan and with a cotton ball and I'm gonna clean off my eyebrows. Pat Pat yay. Pat thoroughly dry with tissue, then lightly dust area with Gigi powder. I don't have Gigi powder, so I'm gonna use baby powder. I saw a video here on YouTube by Athena Ashley Bates about how she mapped out her eyebrows and I really liked the detail of that video. So I'm gonna attempt to do the same and I'm gonna show you what I mean. In fact, you can even use like a white pencil so you're, easy, you're able to really see where to mark. You take the bridge of your nose, make a dot right there, then draw a line down. It's not a very straight line, is it? But you get the point. You take this little tip right here, and then that is not to get the arch. You put this on the same line with your pupil. And that's where the arch of my eyebrow will be. For the, the tip of the eyebrow, take again the corner of your nose right here and align it with the corner of your eye right here, and then draw a dot right there. and draw a line down. Okay, now we'll connect all these lines. And for me, I like a high arch. Some people like straight eyebrows. Everybody has their preference. But for me, I like it when my arch is up and down. So I'm gonna connect this line and then draw down. Make sure it's straight. And then connect down with this one. Do the same up here and then connect down. I look like a mathematical equation right now I know you wax down here and then anything below the lines is what we're gonna wax and then for me I don't have a lot of hair so for mine is just like a cleanup right now come with me to the microwave because this wax is microwavable we'll see how this goes it says to heat the wax for 30 seconds and then stir it if it's if you don't feel like the consistency is right put for another 15 seconds and keep doing that mm. I think I want to try another 15 seconds. This is a consistency that I liked and this was a full minute and they said not to exceed a minute to test if the wax is hot enough is to make sure that you test the wax on the inside of your wrist just to make sure that it's not too hot and it's okay. Okay, let's do this. I'm scared. I'm kind of nervous. So I'm gonna use the little stick they gave. And what I did was I split this one into you no know, little ones like this. You wanna apply the wax to the direction of your hair. And mine, this one is up. Take the strip, apply it there and press firmly. Then pull your skin taut, like tight and rip it. 
in the opposite direction of the, your hair growth. Oh, that didn't hurt at all. I used just this side, so I'm gonna cut this off and use the rest because we are not wasting these strips. Remember to apply it below the white line. And wax your eyebrows in sections. <laughs> Don't put wax and then, no, just do it in sections. Put it, press firmly towards the direction of the hair. Pull your skin tight. Sorry, your technical difficulties. The, the video card got full and it's not full, I emptied it. I don't, I don't understand why it's saying it's full, but anyway, let's move on. So I already took off the hair down here. So I'm gonna put some wax down here. Press firmly, pull the skin tight and yank it out. It took out a little bit of hair. I don't know if you can see that. And I like that these little wooden thingies are actually shaped like that. So it's easy to put them there. Let's do this! Ah! Uh, it doesn't hurt! Check it out. So I'm gonna clean now my eyebrows using, where is it, the wax off and it looks like it's like lotion. I've seen people use baby oil like even where I used to go to do my eyebrows for this part. If you don't have this wax off thing, just use baby oil. I think I went in quite a bit with this one which I actually don't mind at all. I'm gonna clean this one up a little bit more. Yep, I took off quite a bit, but that is what I wanted. Let's see, I don't have hair here, as you can see. I'm just trying to grow out here, but thank God for brow products, you fill that in. See, like right here, this area here, I wanna try. Okay, what do you guys think? I think it did a pretty good job. My Left eyebrow is always more shapely, more pronounced than my right eyebrow. That's always the way it is. But as you can see, it's pretty clean down here. And even here, right here, the hairs I had, it does, it did a pretty, pretty good job. And it's not irritating at all. I'm not allergic to these products. I did try them before I even filmed, like on my wrist, on my, on my forearm right here, when they were hot, and I had no reaction to them. They're pretty gentle, I'll say that. So this is a post wax cooling gel and it has aloe vera, cucumber, menthol. I stuck it in the fridge because I wanted that really cooling sensation. Oh, that feels so good. Oh my god. Ow. Does it have alcohol? Who I think the menthol is. Ooh, that stung. That stung a bit, I'm not gonna lie. If you have to tweeze your eyebrows, uh, this is the best time to tweeze them because your pores are open, so it's easier to pull out the hairs. And they have this, the last one that's called the Slow Grow with Argan Oil. You can apply this on your eyebrows every day so they don't grow. And it smells good too. Me, I was a bit nervous. I didn't know how this would come out. Let me know uh, what you guys think. Are you gonna buy this? Would you do this yourself at home? 
or what? I just saved myself seven bucks to wax my eyebrows. I don't know how much it is where you are. I used to twist, but man, that was painful. It felt like someone was coming with a needle, you know, just tup, tup. I was every time they would twist me, this was me every time. I was like, forget this. I need a quicker method. And that's why I switched to waxing. Give me a thumbs up. And again, if you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much guys for watching and be kind to others and be kind to yourself. Bye.